get there? Hmm. Oh, I can go up higher. Oh, I can't use my power when I'm on here. All right, hold up. Ow. That would have been a good way for me to die. Being crushed under that. I think that would have been good. Yep, this is on Game Pass. Yep. This game is going to be on Game Pass. Great, great place to pick it up. Am I skipping lunch today? No. I'm a hunger boy. Mm-hmm. Go get me some jack and bangers. Jack and bangers. Mm-hmm. French fries. Oh, God. What was that? Tandies. Mm-hmm. It is Tandy Tuesday. Monday, but it's Tandy Tuesday. I had Jersey Mike's for the first time the other day. It was so good. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I love me some Jersey Mike's. Mm-hmm. Their Chipotle cheesesteak is awesome. Get their Chipotle cheesesteak. Access granted. Yep. Jersey Mike's is fast food. Uh, I mean, it's not... I wouldn't call it fast food. It's it's probably faster than regular food, but I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say it's fast food. Um... That's casual. There you go. Shields you from all damage while dodging. Yeah, thanks. Um, hmm. I should probably get these. Increase your backpack's capacity. I should, I should probably get those. Yeah, let's 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 work towards those. Let's work towards those. I feel like that's going to be important. Can I just buy these? Mass telekinesis? I don't know, man. Polymeric shield sounds like it could be amazing, too. Yeah, good point, Matt, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I'm going to get lunch today, but I am... I got a little bit longer in me. I'm really enjoying this. But I will be back for more this afternoon, too. All right, then we're good to go. I want to do some main story. I want to get to the open world part. But that's like... Oh, God. Actually land on the arm. Okay, we're on the other side of this area from earlier now. What in the world are those water tunnels floating around? Uh, those water tunnels are polymer, which is a a material I know you're in this here, Petrov. world. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. Well, I think he did. Listen to me, you brainless mutt. Yes, Agent, this recording is for you. I can hear you banging around in the warehouse. You'll never take me alive, so listen up. You have no idea what's going on here. Who's the brainless mutt now, huh? Good 
Wait, I can't tell people are effing because this guy is dead or because my stream went down. <laughs> are, are we... Is that... Are we effing for him? Um... Yeah, I've, I haven't dropped a frame today, so hopefully... <laughs> okay. <laughs> According to biometric readings, this is patrol. It is? Crispy critters. Why do you keep saying that? It really is Petrov. Uh, I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard, Chris, this is P3. Chris. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, B3. They've got bigger problems than Petrov to do. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out. Damn. Uh, for those wondering, we've already been through this whole area, which is why I'm not, like, looting it again and stuff. The door's locked. We won't be able to open it without power. Game's giving me Bioshock vibes. Oh yeah, yep. It's an immersive sim. So it's very Bioshocky, kind of Fallouty. There's some Wolfenstein in here. There's some Prey in here. Internal PEC-4 power generator microclimate readings are suboptimal. Electricity generation not possible. Oh my God. What is this? The energy from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate, but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. Okay. This way. A YouTuber disagrees that this is an immersive sin or a sim. Uh, well, I mean, I, in that case, I would say it just completely depends on how you define immersive sim. For me, this hits, I'd say, most of what I would call that. Yeah. But, you know, like, it, it's a very, just like any genre. It's a very subjective term, but so it just depends on how you describe it. What's your definition? Holy shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis, but I suspect they're the bodies of dead soldiers that have been infected by sprouts. A fucking hypothesis? Are you shitting me? It's merely my own determination. This has never happened before. Fuck me. So how did it happen? I guess that something went wrong with the Sprouts after Petrov caused the malfunction. I think Charles, these monsters came from I'm last in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures. But the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. Oh, we should totally try to make some of this stuff. All right, hold on. Uh, how much neuro stuff do we have? So, what do you think about our birch tree, sugar? The one in the humongous glass thing? What about it? She's holding out for a hero, just like I do. Waiting for someone to save her from the biting cold. Oh, that's it. Enough. One deranged tin can is plenty for me. I knew you would stay loyal to me, handsome. Take off the glove. 
And we'll be together forever. Don't hold your breath. So, why is this birch tree so important? It's not important at all, Stud. You'll have to warm her up, but you can ignore her. She's a dumb tree. Nothing like me. Crispy critters. At least the tree doesn't talk. You would be lonely without me, sugar. Would I really? Okay, let's take a look here. Uh, we need more of this stuff. We can actually get off the enemies here if we want to upgrade our axe. We'll upgrade the charge speed. Increase damage to organics with level four. That could be good. Um, increase the attack speed. Sure. Increase energy bonus. Accelerate special attack recharge. We can't do that yet. That's the big one. Great electrode. Although now I think we're doing. Uh, now I think we're doing organics instead of the other stuff. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I want to put any points into this right now. And not right now. Need to get the extended magazine stuff for that. Okay, this storage disassembly. Oh. Oh, this is my inventory. There's a there's a Tetris system. Oh. No. That away for now, I guess. Disassembly. Hmm. Okay. That's, oh, that's that's one of those other things. Dynamo. Well, that wasn't. I don't think we got a thing for. Okay, cool. We're good. Is that the sex robot from Futurama? Probably. Yeah. I think she, uh, after Futurama ended, she came to this. Baby Data. Do we have a map here? No, we don't. Experiments were a success. Working together, teams from Valentine and Pavlov have bred new species of Colorado potato beetle. It's our way of fighting fire with fire. That's what we call them, by the way, fire beetles. The new parasite only eats harmful plants such as ragweed, sumpweed, wormwood, and hemlock. First one is personal. It killed my dog. Do the toxic substances in the beetle, the bird won't eat it. Hmm. Our own factory. Not surrender. Oops. We go in. Interesting Bond Singe. Thanks, bud. Uh oh. We're back here. Okay, so we're connecting areas. I want to fight one of these things and see what this is. You on there? This place looks like no one's been here in a decade. It could be due to a malfunction in the gravitational modulation system or excessive polymer fertilizer production. Oh, we forgot to make one of those. I want to make a cartridge. 
I wonder if any of them are like good against organics. Was that the only thing here? Oh yeah, I guess so. Okay. The voice sounds a bit like V from Cyberpunk. It does. Not the first person to say that. I feel like these signs are supposed to be pointing people exactly where they need to go, and I don't speak Russian, so I have no idea. I think maybe we can walk up to them and look at them and, and see what they say. Cartridge gun. Sets the target on fire. Okay. Let's try that. Yay. Cool. A cartridge slot gives a weapon it's installed on elemental damage depending on the cartridge type. Fire, frost, or electricity. Okay. I don't think we've been in here. Smoking-related issues have been especially intense since the war. And Comrade Stalin just added fuel to the fire by making pipes look stylish. Now we've ended up with an unhealthy nationwide addiction. I suggest introducing a special kind of tobacco to the market. It contains almost no nicotine and is completely free of harmful tar. And most importantly, it gradually introduces an aversion to smoking. To make and can easily replace ordinary tobacco. It could help two thirds of Soviet smokers kick the habit in just five years. Your weapon break with use. The weapons don't, but we are using this new. Uh, whoops. We are using this new container thing, uh, a cartridge thing. It seems to go down with every attack. So it's, I think it's doing extra damage. It seems to be working great though. Wait, did that not trigger? Oh no, did anyone see the name of that one? Oh wait, maybe this one? You heard about the thing they grew in the German Venus Asian Mantra. department? I heard it's something between a Venus flytrap and a gigantic hemlock plant. Oh god, that sounded horrifying. Alright, no, hold on. I, I actually want to listen to that. the thing they grew in the germination department i heard it's something between a venus flytrap and a gigantic hemlock plant what's that about who knows it's just a little genetic mishap and now it's more like a carnivorous animal than a plant they even took a whole tank of pa 400 over there for it they should have nipped the thing in the bud they're gonna get themselves in trouble over there for sure that ah, should be fine if they keep spraying it <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Oh, oh God. Oh, geez. I'm gonna act like I accidentally, um. One sec, one sec. I might've just closed Twitch chat by accident. There we go. You're not missing much? Oh, rude. All right. Any vents or anything? No. Oh god, what is this? 
Ooh. Freaking critters. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up. It really is kind of like thingy slash Last of Us. I think making this fire thing was the the right call. Seems to be working just fine. Oh, I will. Thank you. earlier said can you adjust difficulty during the game i think you can yeah yeah there's definitely left and right on that mm -hmm. you can start on hardest see how it feels and go from there lunar soil growing seeds in lunar soil oh wow urgent all the results of our experiments cultivating seeds in lunar soil are to be made secret and all samples except for one are to be destroyed Discussing or documenting what grew from the seeds during the experiment is prohibited. We will have to, we will most likely have to think long and hard about what we really know about our satellite. So it sounds like the lunar soil experiments are maybe what caused all this uh, palm foolery. Are we in all these rooms? Like we did. Maybe. Oh yeah, we came in this way. Okay. Makes sense. Wow, they do not care for electric damage, do they? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? What's crazy to me is that this game, like, this game opens up into like a like an open a semi-open world game at some point. I've been playing this game for four hours now. It's wild. Goodbye. Oh shoot. Uh, okay, so we need you to be here. Oh, nice. That's 
like a nice little one-two there. Thank you. For fuck's sake. What? Hey, what am I? What happened? Was that another polymer memory, Charles? Is being hurt the only thing this guy can remember? I didn't expect it to manifest like that. What happened to me? What happened to me? Fuck! <sighs> You're already dead. Just... wait a little bit. What? Wait for what? What do you mean I'm dead? Hey! Finish me off! Kill me! You promised! Right. I'm out of here. Fuck me sideways. <sighs> Thank you. For fuck's sake. What? Hey, why am I- Wait, was that thing I bet Right. What when did I pro I'm so confused. Okay. Anyway. Let me get in here. Oh. Hmm. Venus Flying Islands? That's kind of cool. Okay, doesn't look like we're getting in there from this side. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ, what in the hell? Ugh. Shit, that Hedgie's lost it. Fuck my life. This is usually a harmless geodesic geology robot. Harmless my ass. What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I'm not sure. I don't have access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't agree more, Comrade Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we won't have to find the door to the shop. We can just climb through the window. Oh. Okay, so this Access is interesting. Granted. We've unlocked, I think, two different weapons now. Oh, we can't build this one yet. We're close though. How much damage do you Okay, so you do five out of ten. You do three out of ten. And you only do four out of ten. So we probably want to get um Make Looks like we want this one. Looks like we want to save up for a Pashtet. Yeah. That looks good. Okay. We're going to save that. Can we look at upgrades for it? I guess we can. Bummer. Okay, uh, let's store... Up here... And then let's definitely go get some lunch. Thank you guys very much for tuning in to the first part of Atomic Heart. We got four hours in and so far, having a pretty good time. We're gonna continue this more after lunch. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go get some chicken tendies and then I will be back at a later point, probably between an hour to an hour and a half. And we're gonna go from there. If you are having fun here, and even if you maybe took that next step and followed the channel, we have this awesome little thing here. It's the Coalition mobile app. You can find this app on the Play Store or the App Store. It gets you the fastest and most consistent notifications. If you wanna know what I'm playing and when I'm playing it, that is the best way to do it. It's free, there's no ads. It's just to help you out and to connect you to our community. So that's it. Uh, quick notes um, for any of my Atomic Heart related stuff. We have, I have a video on YouTube. Please feel free to send me any feedback and or, or if you wanna say anything to me personally, 
uh, on Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. All of my messages are open there. Also keep in mind this game will be on Game Pass. So if you want to play this game, a great way to play it, especially if you're already paying for it, is Game Pass. So yeah, should be good. All right, friends, I will see you guys in just a little bit. Uh, Atomic Heart is going to be this afternoon, and then I think this evening is probably going to be more Returnal as we finish up that game. And then as we move forward into this next week, we've got all sorts of stuff we're working on. So should be a lot of fun, and the app will tell you what we're playing and when. All right, see you guys later. Thanks for being here.